hello Pisces viewers. So video I did about a month ago, I was getting that there was some sort of block with your love life, something, um, some sort of trauma. You thought someone was the one and it just, it broke you so badly that you never really fully trusted anyone after that. You know, I mean, everyone has their heart broken, but this was like a really severe heartbreak that I channeled. Um, someone like you thought this person was your life partner and it just really ended unexpectedly. And the last reading I did, I'm, you're, you're, you're leveling up really quickly. I'm really impressed with it because the last reading I did a couple weeks ago, I got that, you know, your actual true love, this other person could have been your false twin flame and you have your real twin flame or your real soulmate coming in here when the other person that you thought was your life partner might have just been a karmic lesson. But I feel like that's something that's already ended. But the the last reading I did a couple weeks ago, I was getting that you're already with your partner in the 5D, like in the higher realms. You're already telepathically communicating with each other. Like you're already manifesting them. You're already drawing them in. Like you guys are just planning out how to do it. And I feel like you're leveling up really quickly. Like you're, I feel like a lot of you are going through ascension right now. Um... Yeah, Divine Intervention Synchronicity. It's like the, the divine is pushing you out of your head. I feel like you have a tendency to overthink, overanalyze, maybe self-sabotage. And that could also be why your guides aren't letting you know too much about this new person because they don't want you to obsess over it. They don't want you to, you know, try to plant, they don't, they want to push you past your control issues. If that's what, if that's what this is, um, it's like, they don't want you to get caught up in your head. They don't want you to overthink and, and sabotage this. They just want this situation to happen naturally. They want, you know, they want you to just fall in love with this person naturally. Like it's going to be very unexpected. And your, I think your lesson here is the divine really wants you to learn to let things flow, to just trust the trust the unfamiliar to, you know, step out of your comfort zone. Because I feel like that heartbreak that I channeled for you guys, I think it was so traumatic because you really thought that was your person. And it's like, it just ended so unexpectedly, like they cheated or they just, you know, you thought you guys were so happy. And then they're like, actually, I can't do this. It was some something like that. It was some sort of just really, like a tower moment in that connection that I channeled. And I feel like it traumatized you so much that it created a subconscious block towards love. And now I feel like you're really working on removing that block. And your guides are kind of taking the train, the training wheels off here is, is what I feel. Um, cause you know, they don't want you. Cause I think that from that situation, it's, it's made it hard for you to trust and it's made you almost have like these control issues, which everyone, you know, most people have them. It's not, it's not, not saying anything bad about you. It's just like, you're more guarded now. You, you want more certainty and more clarity now in your relationships. Like you want to know beforehand, like, you know, 20 questions, like, where am I going to meet this person? What are they going to look like? Um, you know, just, just overthinking things, um, and trying to control every little detail. And that's part of your lesson here is that your guides want you to just fall in love with this person naturally. They want it to just, they want you to step into this free spirited energy where things just flow to you effortlessly. They want you to get past the control issues to heal from the trauma to just, you know, let yourself have this, you're, you're not free. Like you don't have this freedom. You, you've become stagnant. You've become scared. You've become guarded and it happens. Like we all go through phases like that. Some phases can last for a decade. You know, it's, it's, it's not saying anything bad about you, but your guides just want more for you. They don't want you in this energy where you're overthinking and sabotaging everything, where you're blocking yourself, where you're constantly afraid, constantly thinking the worst, you know, like they just, they want more for you. And so that might be why they're only giving you a few details about this new person. Like you might have some sense that you just met them or that you're about to meet them. And there's just a lot of uncertainty and it's like your guides are going to force you to be head to head with that uncertainty so that you can just kind of trust them and just let things flow naturally. Cause if you try to control this connection, it's going to sabotage it. So they really want to make sure that you guys do this right. Could be a secret admirer that's spying on you too. Could also be them saying they don't want you to spy on this person. Like if you know who this person is, they don't want you to obsess. They don't want you to spy on them. They don't want you to overanalyze every little thing they say and do. They just want this to happen naturally. 
And if you let this happen naturally, it's like you guys are going to fall really deeply in love is what, I, is what I feel for most of you. But if you control, then this person is going to feel that energy. They're going to feel that fear and that, um, that controlling sort of energy. And they're going to feel like it's not like a natural connection. They're going to feel like it's being forced. And that might cause them to not want this connection. And I'm not, again, I'm not blaming any of you guys for that because I've been in this energy too. Like I've had my heart broken in the past and I've gotten stuck in this energy. It's been a long time since I've been in this energy, but I mean, years ago, I can say that I can resonate with this. Like, even if it's been a while, I can still remember what that felt like to just be terrified in the beginning of a relationship, like terrified that everybody's going to hurt you, terrified that people are going to just leave you, terrified that you're going to, that you're always just going to get your heart broken again. Um, and you know, love is a risk. Love is a huge risk, but life is just isn't worth living without it. Like life isn't worth anything without love. Like it's a natural part of who we are. Like being vulnerable is part of who we are. Like we're all wired to need connection, to need intimacy, to need love. It's okay to need love. You know, um, it's just saying like, it's just like the fear and the, the negativity that they want to push you past. So it's like saying, don't cling to this. Don't just let things flow. Just trust that the people that are right for you are going to, are going to, um, come into your life. There's a, God, there's a man, mantra I keep seeing on, on TikTok. What is it? Oh my gosh. Uh, people keep saying it works for them too. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember what it was. Um, I don't chase, I attract what's meant for me will be mine or what's meant for me will find me naturally. I think it is. Maybe look that up if you have TikTok. It's a really good mantra. Yeah. It's like trying to push you. Here we go. Domination control, trying to push you past these control issues. So the message here is just let, let this situation unfold naturally. If you already know who this person is, like this is like your crush or this is for some of you, it's someone in your energy field. Like you can maybe having dreams about them, telepathically feeling them, and you get this sense that you're about to meet them. Your guides are saying when this comes in, act natural because this person is going to love you. Your true love is going to love you for who you are. And if you like have these control issues and you're trying to like kind of like faking it, trying to, you know, put on a show for them or whatever else, it's like that's not going to feel natural to them and they're not going to want that. Like it's like you never know who's going to love the person that you hide. So it's saying like, just, just relax, let this flow naturally, just be your true self with this person. And that's how you know the person is right for you too, because it's like, I mean, like, let's say with people who have been heartbroken a lot and they have these control issues, it's like, it's normal to go through that phase where it's like, you just kind of want to be like, like a bitch, or you just want to be a douchebag and you just want to like, you know, kind of play games and, and take forever to text people back and like, it's like a, a power struggle, like an ego, str ego struggle. And it's like, yes, you can get some, you can pull someone in with that. You can get someone to text you by use it, by playing those mind games, but it's not real though. It's not something that's going to last because they're only, they're only coming around for that, that image that you're presenting to them. They don't actually know the real you and you need someone. If you're going to want to, if you want a life partner, if that's what you're trying to manifest, you need someone who knows and loves the real you like that's that's a genuine relationship where it's like you guys can just be honest and open and vulnerable with each other like they know your flaws they know your the your weaknesses your strengths and they love you and want you anyway that's true love like when they accept you as a whole you know only showing someone the best version of yourself just in my opinion it just doesn't work or playing those games it's like you can only play those games for so long eventually you're going to have to accept that, you know, if someone has commitment issues, they're, they're not going to stick around no matter how hard you pull them in. It's like, eventually you just, you have to be your true self. If you want to attract a genuine loving connection, you know, you got to be real. Um, oh, sorry. So I started rambling and I forgot what I was, I forgot what the hell I was saying. Um, and for some of you, this is something that hasn't come in yet, but you feel them. Like you feel their energy in your dreams telepathically. You get a sense they're coming in and your guides are just saying, hey, when this does come in, don't do this. Don't spy. Don't obsess. Don't overthink. Don't control. Don't show them. You know, don't play games. Don't, don't pretend to be someone that you're not. 
don't try to control everything like because this person is going to love you for you so if you're being relaxed and you're being your free spirited like the person you are deep down like your free spirited fun loving self like maybe the person you were years ago that you kind of disconnected from if you reclaim that person and you're that that free spirited carefree like just open-minded, adventurous, fun, loving, laid-back person. That's that person. That's what that person's going to fall in love with, you know, is your true self. So your guides are just really wanting to make sure that you have this message so that when this comes in, you don't ruin it. Sorry, it's harsh. <laughs> um, for others, you have just met this person and this is like someone you're crushing on or, and like maybe they're noticing you, you're noticing them. And it's the same message. Like just just don't don't spy on them. Don't stalk. Don't obsess. Don't try to control. Don't just don't do any of that. Just let it flow naturally. Be your true self. Just let things flow naturally. Be your true self. Um, and yeah. Could be someone you're talking to on social media or someone who's noticing you on social media. And you're ending this pattern now. You're ending this cycle where you've these control issues, this heartbreak, this trauma. I feel like that trauma you went through caused this pattern. And you're ending that cycle now. You have this breakthrough freedom. I really feel you guys leveling up. Like I get that so strongly in this reading. Like I just feel such a strong energy of you guys. Like it's like you've been stagnant or numb or depressed or just in the same energy again and again. Like same, like you feel trapped. You feel blocked. You feel trapped by your own energy, by your own thoughts. You feel lost in your own head. And it's like you're about to just have this drastic perspective shift. You're about to just have this like awakening could be psychic abilities too that you're coming that are coming in all at once. Um, could be a twin flame that you're meeting for some of you and be the other person was a false twin flame because with the because with the psychic energy I get like that awakening process, it almost seems like maybe like a twin flame or like at least a soulmate who's a life partner. It's a very deep, very psychic connection that I feel coming in for you here. And sometimes like when you meet that person, it's like you have it's like it opens you up. It just like breaks you open. And there's just a lot of healing that takes place. It's a messy process at times, but it's like you have all these psychic abilities that come up too because it's like it, it just, it's just it's like an ascension process. It's like you're just awakening and it's it's you're coming into that. You have this this perspective shift that you're either just come into or you're coming you're in a that that transition of um just getting out of that stagnant energy and just having things just flow to you and just having this new perspective, you know, I think you're starting to get it. I think that you probably had a lot of tower moments because you have those control issues. And so your guides probably kept having you have these tower moments to like shake things up to try to get you to let go of the control. And then it's like, you'd start letting go, but then you'd hold back onto it. And it's like, I think, You've either just had another tower or maybe like there's one coming. Oh, I don't want to say it. I don't want to say there's another tower coming in. Nothing horrible though. It'd almost be like a good tower, like a, like a, wow, I just met my true love overnight. I didn't expect that kind of tower, like a good, like a good shock, a good revelation. But it's like they kept, those tower moments kept happening because your guys were trying to push you out of stagnation and, and push you to, to heal and to let things flow again and to let things happen naturally for you. And they kept happening and the tower moments kept getting worse and worse and worse because you kept holding on. And now it's like you're coming into this energy where you're just finally letting go. And so you're, the path is starting to clear out for you. It's good energy, you know. Hidden truths coming out as well about yourself, about how you've been blocked, trapped, tied up. And you're realizing it. You're having to look at this mask that you've been wearing. You have to look at this mask you've been wearing and be honest with yourself about it and take that mask off and start healing, start being your true self. If you want genuine, true love, then you have to be your genuine, true self. Fast moving energy. This is coming in quick, like just meeting the love of your life, just like that perspective shift, just like that. Like you have these epiphanies coming in for you, like just waking up and being like, I can't do this anymore. I can't. I can't be stagnant anymore. I can't be controlled like this. I can't be trapped anymore. Just freeing yourself, being vulnerable, being receptive, being romantic, being open again, being your true self. This is like your true energy that you've kind of disconnected from male or female. This is like your true self right here. This, you know, naturally vulnerable, natural and naturally empathetic, naturally caring. And you're reclaiming that you're reclaiming who you really are. You're reclaiming your power. And that is what's going to draw the right people to you. 
think about it, this true love that you had probably met you when you weren't being yourself. And so it's like, it felt like it was true love, but it's like, they didn't really know you. They didn't know the real you. They just knew, knew what they saw in you. Could be some soul contracts that you got to end too. But yeah, you're leveling up. You are leveling up here for sure. Yeah, you're done with the power struggles. You're done with the games. You're you're reaching a whole new level in your life. You're done with the pride and stubbornness and all that crap. You know, you want something real, loyal, stable, true. And you understand now that you have to have integrity. You have to be your true self. You have to heal. You have to go through this, this process. And you have to reclaim yourself. And you have to stay devoted to yourself above all else. Be loyal to yourself above all else. Um, I usually like, hate saying stuff like that. I hate readings like that and I hate saying it, but it's like, it's not and, like in this case, it's not just like some self-love, self-help baloney. It's like, it's like really like, it's like beautiful because it's like reclaiming your free spirit inside, like reclaiming your vulnerable side. And it's like, you're just going to fall so in love with yourself that it's like, you're just going to be loyal to yourself above all else. And the right people are going to be so drawn to that. It's like, be creative, be weird, be romantic, be whatever it is that you are. And the right person is going to love you for that. So I hope this resonates. Um, any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up. If you'd like a private reading, my email is below. And please like, share, subscribe. Thank you. I do these readings regularly. So thanks for watching.